Is Puma D the issue between Davido and Whiskey? Is Davido wrong to accept Puma deal? What about Whiskey? Is he right to be angry about the whole thing? I still got a lot of interesting stories around this. But before we dive into the story, I want you guys to consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button below the bell notification icon. Let's talk about most of the things trending now on social media. The biggest issue is Davido and Whiskey. And Whiskey the ranting on social media so far on Twitter and it has been on fire since yesterday and a lot of people are really making their commentary on this and we have to look at it from a different point of view yes somebody is coming out to say you can call the video anything but not talentless or work because davido is one of the talented artists in nigeria and has proven that over the 10 years and saying that yes being talentless and being work you cannot sustain it for 10 years and that is something i keep saying you know because this guy's father get money and a lot of people does not want to see the hard work and the talent that is coming in from davido at the time believing that all ajebota people they are not supposed to be talent wise and that is what many people believe about the jose and some of the fans of davido they are really coming out to say you know what you have to call davido anything you know, but if you say you know get talent not to come again or if you say his work this guy cannot sustain that over a period of 10 years that is what it is for davido at a time and a lot of people are really paying attention to this i think this is all interesting at the end of the day what is your own take about all of this don't fail to put your own comment in the comment section below so that we can have a glimpse at this davido and whiskey they have actually sustained their music career for the past 13 years and these guys are really proving it over and over again but they have a unique rivalry and competition between them and that is really made worse by their fans out there recently a person of whiskey came out to watching the whole thing and talking about the video calling the video names calling the video talentless mid artist and the rest but right now the fans of the video are telling whiskey you know what you can call the video any other thing but say he not get talent or his music is work man don't say that because he has been able to sustain himself for a period of 10 years that is what is coming in and what i don't like about this whole ranting from whiskey is that dragging the family of davido into the whole thing that is really really bad and annoying at a time that is what a lot of people are really talking about imagine davido and whiskey in a ring who do you think will win at the end of the day i want you to put your own comment in the comment section because a lot of people are really really getting interested in all of this davido has actually come out on social media you know ignoring the rants of whiskey has been a big a uh, big win for davido that is something i got to understand but he came out on social media to take a shot and that is well analyzed by some persons but do you think davido deserve to say this he said yes stay authentic to your craft and on your way up there you have to lift others that was what the video was trying to explain to a lot of us and people are really getting it at a time like this and some people are saying you know what the videos uh, ignoring whiskey that is really a matured way to handle all of this that is what a lot of people are really encouraging right now but somebody is calling our attention to a lot of things you know polo came out to say you know what many a-list artists or afrobeat artists in nigeria these guys are really struggling with a lot of things because in 2024 it has been difficult for most of them to make money we have burner boy making a lot of money we have the video making a lot of money in 2024 we still got a shake we still got the lies of a rema to an extent but whiskey on the other part i think he didn't make much money in 2024 that is something i got to understand and whiskey has actually expressed his disappointment over 
Puma did with the video, saying that he was first of all called on by Puma and these guys could not afford his fee and the video jumped into it. Some people came out to blame the video on this. I think many people does not understand a whole thing, saying that the video is readily available to accept you know, any offer that is given to him. That has made the family billionaires. You that is rejecting offer, your family is not billionaire yet. That is something you need to understand understand about all of this a lot of people blaming out the video when it comes to money these people want to have it and then give their service for it they have been rich rich as a result of that but people where they reject money man i didn't see their father becoming a billionaire because they're too feel big to have money so you can't hit money and expect to be rich likewise but a lot of people are coming at the video over this puma deal something is puma deal the issue because somebody has come out to explain his own part of the whole thing and saying that um you know whiskey was offered a million dollars at the end of the day this the kind of uh, went for the video uh, which they offered 10 million dollars that whiskey was earlier demanding and somebody came out to say is forced to understand and give analysis of that saying that they offered the video way cheaper and then uh, the video jumped on the offer to understand but you need to actually understand that you know whether you like it or not is money dollar this period so you cannot just reject it and do you think the video made a mistake of accepting such of don't fail to put your own argument in the comment section so that you can have a glimpse and a take on this. But some people are really blasting out the video while some other persons are blasting out whiskey saying that you reject offer another person take them that in the entire eye. Why would you be angry? So what is your own take about this? Put that in the comment section. Or are you telling me that Whiskey has every right to be angry about this thing and rant about that and cause out the video on social media at this? That is the question I want you to put in the comment section because a lot of people, they really have their own opinion to this and the story is really getting a lot of viral interesting attention at the time. But based on my own opinion, I feel that the video has not done anything wrong accepting offer that is laid before him he has a business mindset and was able to really hinge himself on it you know i uh, decided to bring out a clothing line along uh, puma called uh, we rise by lifting others and that is really working for the video he recently launched his uh, you know collection clothing collection alongside puma in new york and that was really exciting at the time a lot of people actually came out to support the video at that right now whiskey has been running a lot of shit about that that is what is really disturbing at the time and some people are getting all worked up for this particular issue this has become one of the biggest issue on social media i think we need to carefully understand that david is in for a business whiskey rejected an offer david got the offer so you need not be angry about all of this that is what i kind of understand what about the uba stuff you know um, whiskey is an ambassador of uba but david was called up by uba to perform at their events this is really disturbing at the time what are your own takes about this kind of story don't fail to put your own opinion in the comment section before I jump off I want to say thank you guys for watching our videos and thank you for the love so far if you are new here you can click the subscribe button below the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos